ideas and emotions that we label and connect or associate with a loving presence or have accomplished a sense of balance within. These are expectations. Being okay with being okay, it's, it's the recognition of peace and letting go. Because at the end of the day, peace is the truth. Peace is the truth of you. Beyond all the temporary emotions and projections and masks or whatever that we wear or that we clothe ourselves in, it's only necessary to be peaceful. You go back to the intellectual souls that pride themselves off of collecting information, data, knowledge, and I'm pulling in knowledge. I'm trying to find it. It's like, well, look, in social settings, conversations, we have all these random facts and who's from where and what page this was on and quoting quotes and just a bunch of intellectual information. And at the end of the day, this is all mental activity. This is all the mental construct, gathered data. And a person will live in this world and express themselves from this world and feel a sense of accomplishment because I have so much to say about all the smart things that humanity has done. <laughs> Not knowing that the most valuable thing you possibly could know, the most intellectual thing you possibly could know the most mature vibration, the sound frequency of being that you could know is peace. Because peace is the home, the source of all information, all knowledge, all expression, all the books that you're quoting from, all the experiences that you express, this is the home. This is the source of everything. Things done and not done, the seen and the unseen. Things that are yet to be have their foundation within me. In silence, in peace. This is the home of beauty. This is the home of eternity. So once again, you being okay with being okay is more than okay. It's peace. It's everything. It's home. It's home. You're sophisticated enough to be at home with yourself. To be at home with peace. Because of course, with a clean slate with peace, you can go anywhere. You can paint whatever picture you want. You have all the colors of the on your palette available to you in peace. And the more you're in this space, the more you have available to you. Versus walking walking around collecting data, watching movies and flipping books over and pulling up all this data and identifying with it. Because usually when you're externally focused, you feel as if you're out to memorize information. And this only strengthens the mental identity, which is always limited. Always limited because there's only logic. Love is way bigger than logic. It's an aspect of love. It's an aspect of eternity. It's an aspect of infinite intelligence. Yes, logic is. However, it's a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the depth of unconditional love, infinite intelligence, which is who you are in truth. It's but a fraction. The more we recognize that and be okay with being okay and being ourselves and being in a space of peace, the more we have access to. So being okay with being okay is more than enough. And when you say, oh, well, I'm not feeling nothing. And I don't know. And I don't think I'm connected. I think I lost connection with God and my intuition and so on and so forth. This is all the voice of the ego attempting to scare the hell out of you. And at the end of the day, it's just ignorance. It's ignorance.
This is the voice of ignorance. How much energy and validation are you giving to the voice of ignorance each and every day? This voice in your head. How much validation are you giving it? How much do you feel like that's you? Because it says, oh, well, don't hang out with them. They haters and don't do this and don't do that. You better watch out for this. You better watch out for that. This is all defense mechanism. It speaks from this position and it kind of gives you the feeling that it has your best interest in mind because it continues to warn you about fears. It continues to talk to you about illusions. And because you don't necessarily want to experience those illusions, you get you you develop a sense of connection with this voice and you feel as if this is you trying to protect yourself. When in actuality is you talking to you about the things that don't exist. Attempting to protect you from yourself. From illusions. From illusions. The voice of illusion attempting to protect you from illusions. It's fear giving itself its own energy. Once again, the voice in your head is the voice of fear. The voice of fear will always question what the heart wants. And once again, this is fear questioning love. In other words, this is ignorance questioning intelligence, infinite intelligence, the ignorance of the mind, the limitation of the mind's conscious awareness, questioning the infinite all knowing of infinite intelligence that exists within your heart, which manifests itself as excitement and passion in the things that you desire to do. But then this voice of ignorance will tell you, oh, well, I wouldn't do that. That's not cool. And such and such did it one time and they had COVID and blah, blah, blah. The voice of fear, the voice of illusion attempting to fuel itself. He is the servant and he is the master. When will you put your crown on? Are you going to continue to listen to the servant? Are you going to continue to listen to the fool, to the tool? We're talking about graduation, beloved. It's time to kick it with the big boys. We're manifesting our realities now. Are we listening to fear? Are we continuing to validate illusions? Kings and queens don't, eva- don't validate illusions. They don't know about validate fear. And once again, the, the, the mechanism as as simple as being okay with being okay. Relaxing our labeling of everything and the stories that we tell ourselves, the projections and expectations that are based on our past experiences or our conscious knowledge or information that we have about life and we keep (laughs) playing these old movies and feeling like history just repeats itself and repeats itself yeah the same thing gonna happen and it's not cool and it's stupid and it's like well look life is smarter than (laughs) this voice that you have in your head life is way smarter than those projections and what you assume life is doing as a mechanism of attempting to protect yourself from pain. Life is smarter than that. Way smarter than that. And at the end of the day, once again, you are life. It's just you aligning with the truth of yourself. With who you are beyond the gaslight, beyond this talking, beyond what's being shown to you, the images parading in your face to show you how life is bad and it's not cool and humans suck and this is going to happen again and the earth going to blow up and apocalypse and all, all this, uh, all this happened. <laughs> Just trying to sell you all this stuff. Sell you all these corny ideas about how whack God is. And it's like, What? Masters wake up every day and say thank you. Masters wake up every day and say thank you. 